In this video, we're going to talk about text function that's most commonly used uh, for text parsing and for advanced operation with the text. So for this, um, I have a couple of examples and we will start with a function that calls replace and how it works. So as you see, uh, here I have a couple of regex, uh, but let's first start with a simpler uh, example. So how works our replace uh, let's name it just as this uh, it uh, you can find it here it simply replaces some text that uh, exactly match matches um, the the text you will provide so you may click or type uh, it and first argument will be the text itself itself so uh, let's call it I'm a text And the second argument will be basically what you want to replace, right? If you work with the text argument, will be uh, I want to replace, let's say, text to a number, right? So then uh, we're going to find that thing in here, right? And we'll return the that text replaced uh, the where this will be replaced with a third argument. So relatively simple. Let's let's run it and see the result. So our uh, replace calls I have a number, as you see, right? Uh, also, it's like relatively uh, understandable, uh, but also replace may work with the more advanced things uh, such as regex. So as you see, we have a regex parameter here, right? So this uh, kind of start and end of the regex, and here comes the, 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 the regex pattern itself. So in this case, uh, we going to find that pattern, which is is and space, and then we have a group of uh, numbers. Okay, and uh, by doing this, we can then reference this group, right, with the dollar sign and number of the group. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to replace is space, right, literally this, uh, with the uh, dot space plus 42 and this actual example uh, from the text description uh, in the make document and then we're going to add our group and the group it's, it will be all numbers that come after is space right so literally this so this will be matched so technically our pattern in here right will be this. So we're going to replace it with column space plus 42 and then our group that we have here means all numbers. So as you may see, our result returns us the phone number and exactly what we've done. Uh, the second example is using uh, the upper sign like the end sign right uh, so dollar and end sign will uh, put any match of of the pattern so here as you see what I'm doing here is I'm replacing the all uh, numbers right so we match all numbers and what we're replacing here we put we we're going to put uh, s right after is and space because that exactly what we're going to match we're going to put column space plus 42 and then we're going to put all uh, matches of our pattern means all numbers and what we have in our case will be you see like a space this is kind of typo but it works exactly as we, as we have it here right so we uh, find that because we kind of will have a space after s right then it will be our match and we're going to replace our match which is all numbers in this text right that comes uh, one by one and uh, then we have column space plus 42 and then we're going to put all occurrences of our pattern in this text it's a little bit complex but if you know the regex 
it's really really a uh, useful function okay but uh, this is how you may apply the the replace uh, another function that we are um, going to learn today will be a length right and that is a relatively simple function that we already uh, use here and there and that function works to determine a length of a text or a length of array because in this case we literally uh, consider the text as array of characters okay and as you see it returned me like 1751 so that is total length of my text in here so the the function itself uh, probably not super useful uh, and usually you will use this in a pair of uh, some function or logic and most common probably will be substring so substring uh, in, in in the case of of substring you usually use a length to determine the like end of your text for example so we're going to uh, play with it right now and uh, that's uh, something that we're going to do so and to, to do it literally right so let's learn the substring and this is the function that uh, works to replace uh, like literally cut text somehow so i will apply the substring to our text here first and then we're going to play with a more advanced so this is a text right and i'm going to just try to do substring so you may type it again or select and substring itself if if you hover the mouse you will see that uh, the description will have start and end so three parameters in here technically it has uh, yeah so this is three parameters so we have a quick description here right so we basically determine a start where we kind of put our cursor and start our selection and the end so these signs uh, like these characters will be uh, cut it like uh, and, and the rest will be dropped so we we determine what text we're going to return from zero uh, position of our cursor to position number three right and that will be returned so that's uh, exactly how works the substring so I'm going to let's say cut the only text so for this I need to know the length right so one two like this will be zero we always start with a zero so one two three four five so i can uh start from five and up to six seven eight nine so five to nine should give me my word text so run it to see the result and that what we got we got a text so definitely we uh like way more convenient for this one to not count but to say i want to start with the text and let's say up until the end so you remember we've sp spoken about the length so the length also can be applied here as this to just it's not convenient if you have just a text but if you work with a variable right this will be easier so that's what we got the text also because we starting from the uh, cursor position number uh, five and we go up to length means up to uh, until the end of the whole text so that's uh, how works our uh, length but what if what if I need to find this place so here I just calculated it right I just uh, put my cursor and calculated the steps and so uh, what what if I need to calculate where to start right so I, I let's say want to start from the T T E or text or whole thing and for that we have function that calls index of and that is a function that uh, in most probably of the cases uh, works uh, with the uh, uh, with the um, substring right so again I don't use variable I just use the same text just to show you the logic right so and that's uh, how works our index of in pair of the text well let's uh, let's do it separately maybe to give you more understanding 
I will just copy in text and this will be index of variable here we will just find so index of of that text and here I want to find where is and and here also it will give you a start of exact occurrence of your uh, text uh, pattern so I want to find a tex so text that should give me also five because that exact pattern in this uh, text start from the from the from the fifth uh, position of, of the our text so as you see I got same five right so that means I can use this text uh, the, the this function right this uh, approach to find my uh, start so with all of these I will just leave this or just let's copy this first right I just want to create another uh, variable here call it one and to work with my uh, text so I, I will use replace variable as a just a text without all these things, right? And we will build our replace once again completely from the scratch. So we have our expression that returns I'm a text here, right? Uh, and I will can use this variable. So if I put my variable uh, that calls replace for text that should also return me five because I use the variable here, right? So we got our five and now let's build a complete expression. So I will do substring again either click or type so substring of and here will be my variable so I will substring this variable and I will start from my index of will give me my start my length will give me my end and end of again uh, length of the whole text and I'm closing the substring so as you see in make when you hover this you see where your function ends this is uh, like a convenient thing right because it allows you to understand where your function ends okay so let's do it like this and we got our text so we uh, find the position of, of our text start and so on so on so how also works our index of I want to show you this thing is uh, if we would have another text here what would happen if we have some also we have another text okay so let's take it like this okay so how are we going to do this uh, means we have two occurrences right now and how we will find let's say this text let's call it uh, text 2 okay so we want to find the text 2 not the text 1 and to cut it so for that you need to um, remember that index of has um, a third argument that holds kind of start and with this one you literally show where exactly you want to start to find your text so that means to find my text too I need to start after that one literally after that occurrence literally after five so I will say find me please a text tex occurrence or match after uh, let's say position number 10 means somewhere from here okay and that should work for us so I will put my info, uh, index off so third parameter will be 10 so with this one I will ask them to try to find TX after uh, the the position number 10 I haven't said this one so let's 
do the save, let's do the test run, and we got a text too because we find the TX after position number 10, right? And we cut it from that place where we find it until the length of our text. And now let's do a quick uh, example of our text to cut something like this. Okay, so let's assume I need to find my uh, JSON here, right? And that should be from the start until the end. So what I can do for that long text, I can first of all try to find, and I understand I have the only one session ID in the whole text, right? So that is fine. And then I also will try in some something to end. So for example, this guy, right? So am I have these how many times? Also one. So we kind of will, uh, you know, uh, the disregard the, the, the possibility that that might happen in like our pattern will change because right now we're going to think that this will be the, the only uh, like a static version of our text or like a pattern of the of the whole text structure so that's why i'm going to cut everything that starts uh, from here right and i need to find it uh, at that thing plus two positions right because if i will find this that means i need to cut it uh, right here but i need to have these two quotes so means I need to do one, two, so plus two, and let's uh, try to do it. So I need to copy these two patterns. I actually have them. So let's do, I will use the same substring for uh, that long text. So we have that it calls text to parts, right? And index off of my first thing will be position off inside my text parts. Uh, my pattern so I have the only one of it so I will use it uh, it will be a session ID it's not exactly what I want to copy I want to find this right so the whole thing so session ID okay so this was the first and then I need to uh, not go to in the length of this thing. I need again index of, right? So index of, and in here I will put again my text to parse, and I need to find another thing which will be this. But that's not it, and it's not everything because I need to subtract two. You remember, right? So we don't need. To, uh, or actually add to because we will find that thing right and we will cut everything up to here but we need to these two guys these two characters so i'm going to use math here because these parameters are numbers right so both of index of, index of return as numbers so i will simply add two here to do the stuff i will add plus one um, to show you the difference and let's try to do it so we execute that and we got the as you see the json here but we have just the one curly bracket in the end so i'm going to add plus two as we uh it was intended to do in the beginning to have these two guys i may add three just to whatever illustrate and we will get this one right so let's do it with a three and that's uh how you may work so you see we got it with a three with this guy which will literally might, might be not need so i will put just two and that's how you may use um, these several functions to parse your text and do it nice and shiny you definitely can go with the regex here right with the um, replace for example to replace the whole text with the regex but this uh, this is an example of of how it works so that's uh, how you may apply your um, knowledge and this function in text parsing.